hello everyone, welcome back aboard. This is Vanguard of Valor, playing FTL aboard the Slug Cruiser, the VSS Blindside. We have Corsair, Brigand, and... Steli. <laughs> and we are murdering people and leaving ships intact, acro intact across the galaxy. Alright, now, we just finished murdering these people, haplessly, upgrading our shields level 2, and we're going to jump forwards, for the rebels are hot on our tail. Let's see what we can do now that we have more firepower and shields than ever before. A refueling station? Well, we don't have the money to buy anything, so we're going to ignore them and jump on ahead. Hello there, Blue Planet. We receive a distress call from a nearby Angie ship. Assistance requested, danger present, imminent destruction. This is what we had just the last time. Let's respond to that call and move in to assist. And just like last time, the Mantis have taken over, saying foolish meat sacks. They are coming to attack, and they have boarded us already. Just like last time. This is literally exactly the same fight we just did. <laughs> this time they have a different laser. But honestly, this is this is the same thing. Just slightly, slightly different. Alright, let's breach those shields. Breach them. Breachy breach. Good, shields breached. Hit them with the dual lasers quickly. There we go. They missed us, thankfully. He's taking some hits, so he's going to head back into the med bay. Anti-bio beam is charged up, but we are not going to waste it now. We're going to hit their shields with another breach bomb. Wrecking that mantis. Dual lasers should kill him, and then the bio beam. Um, hang on, we'll wait and see if this captain moves into assist. He is moving, but I don't know if he's moving into assist or if he's just moving. He's trying to get into the med bay, but we don't want that to happen, so we're going to fry right across here. Get all three of them, hopefully. Oops, all three of them? All two of them. Actually, hang on, we'll wait. He stops moving, and we should be able to fry right down through there and get both of them. Very good. He survived! Wow, I didn't know that could happen. Okay, let's hit him with the breach bomb in the med bay. So I do not want them healing, thank you very much. We will dual laser him, murdering him in the med bay. There we go. No help for you in there. Our slug is healed, so we're going to go back in those doors and kill this mantis as much as possible. In fact, we're going to send our NG into help. He's getting murdered so fast, wow. Okay, and now we're going to anti-bio beam him as soon as he runs into the med bay. Bzz, goodbye! Now we just have to kill this remaining fool, who should die more or less now. And once there are no remaining life signs, we strip the enemy ship of useful materials, gathering two more fuel, two more missiles, and 26 more scrap. Very nice. Brigand took some bad hits there. Stelly's still at full health. Back in there, Stelly. Back in there, Brigand. Heal yourself up and get back on the shields like you've been meant to be. Lots of different skills going on here. Not a whole lot of them, except for Stelly, who's getting lots of skills. We have so many different weapons to shoot. Alright. Brigand, head back over to your station. There's a lot of variety here. It's fairly interesting. I've never had a ship that's this, this varied in how it plays. Lots of different things to change around and shoot with. Alright. Now let's try... Jumping here. Hello, space. Like I said last time. Ooh. Our rebel ship has been patrolling this region. As soon as we arrive, it begins its assault. It's got an attack drone this time, but that's okay, because we've got the shields to handle it. It can't actually do any damage, because neither of those weapons can penetrate our shields. Alright, which means we get to ruin them at our leisure. Let's breach bomb in there. And a dual laser in there, just for fun. And now we anti-bio beam right across both of those rooms. Hopefully killing one of their crew already. Yes, problem solved. Now that they don't have the potential to block us, we're going to turn off the breach bombs, because we do not need them. He's going to come in to help, which is perfect for us. We're going to heavy laser the room with both of them in it, and then anti-bio beam them, hopefully killing both of them. Bam! Dead. There are no more life signs remaining on board ship. Once again, we are ruining people and leaving their ships in our <laughs> in our wake. <laughs> we strip it of useful materials, getting too few, a drone part, and 28 scrap. Very nice. Very nice indeed. It's hard to complain about this amount of money we're making. Alright. What do we want to upgrade next? We could upgrade our weapons again. That would be nice. Being able to activate all of our weapons simultaneously would be fantastic. Although, it might also be good to upgrade our engines a bit more, but then again, we still don't have anyone running the engines, so I guess it's not a high priority. Level 3 shields would also be nice, but I think we're going to go for the weapons first. So let's upgrade them. We might as well. We'll upgrade them, we'll depower our med bay like a fool, <laughs> like, just like I said last time, and get all four weapons firing simultaneously. Next up, we'll probably work on getting our hull laser mark 1 in there, but I don't know, having these fast firing weapons is very nice at the start of the game. We'll have to see how it goes. The hull laser mark, mark, blah, blah, the hull laser mark 1 isn't that strong anyway, so I'm not sure if we really want it. Let's jump onwards and see what we can see. Boop. 
We make contact with an isolated NG science station who are, who are staying put despite the likelihood of Mantis invasion. They suggest we trial some experimental te Man, I'm having a hard time with this little piece of dialogue here. With some experimental technology. They give us a missile, a drone part, and 14 scrap. I don't see any experimental technology there, NG, but thanks for the offer anyway. <laughs> you should try some experimental technology! Are you going to give us some? No! <laughs> Whatever. Scrap is scrap. Hard to complain. Let's jump. Well, actually, it's really easy to complain, but I shouldn't. To be more precise, let's jump onwards! I still don't really have anything I want to sell, so I'm not going to go to that store if I can't help it. Once we arrive, our screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and tried to shut down our engines. Our crew keeps them barely operational when we move in to attack. Well, that's okay. I can handle that. They have three crew in there, so I cannot hit all those rooms simultaneously. We're going to breach bomb their shields as per usual, and then we'll see what else damage we can cause. Because we'll have dual lasers and heavy lasers simultaneously armed. Very nice. Now we should be able to blast those suckers with the dual lasers. And then make them regret their lives with the heavy laser. There we go. Anti-bio beam is now charged, and they're all in the same room. Oh, we missed one. He got in there. So let's breach bomb out there, med bay. No healing for you! And now we should be able to kill them off pretty easily with a quick fire from the dual lasers and the heavy lasers. Bam! There's now a hole in there, they're suffocating, and this last anti-bio beam will kill them off without any more problems. BAM! This is super easy! <laughs> this ship just destroys people. With the pirate ship disabled, our engines come back online, and we salvage what we can, getting few tool, few tool, two fuel and twenty scrap. Very nice. Like, this is definitely like easy mode. Alright, power up that, turn back on the medbay. Get everything back up and running, and fly onwards, to make some other people regret our presence. Let's come visit this unvisited location. Hello. Ooh, nearby space station hails us. Greetings, your arrival is most fortuitous. We recently came across some extra drones. If you have some fuel, perhaps we can make a deal. Well, thanks for the offer, but I don't need any drones. I've already got five drone parts and nothing to use them on, so I'm going to have to say no. Oh, there's a store there too. <laughs> ah well. I guess you can't win them all. Let's jump over there, buy some more fuel probably. A bit of repairs, maybe. An engine ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Well, I don't know if I can help you too much with your engine upgrade, but I can give you a little bit of money. I'm gonna... Mm, yeah, I guess I'll sell this. It's really not what I'm looking to use. We'll sell that to get some extra stuff. I could buy the sensors. That is still a very appealing option. But... And I could buy a crew as well, but he's a human. Humans are kind of boring. <laughs> Let's get some repairs, let's buy some more fuel, because honestly, running out of fuel sucks. And that should be us good to go. I'd much rather have an excess of fuel than to have not enough. We'll jump onto the exit, and see what's in the next sector. We arrived at a long-range beacon, and uh, there is a rebel automated scout floating nearby, in pristine condition, but deactivated. We can attempt to download the ship's data stores, which means we're going to be fighting it. <laughs> Or don't risk activating and just get 11 scrap. A pittance. Let's fight it! We accidentally reactivate the ship's AI, and we prepare to fight. That's okay, I'm ready for that. We're gonna heavy laser out its weapons, and dual laser out its weapons, and that's probably all I need to do. <laughs> no reason to waste bombs, no reason to fire the anti-bio beam, because we can't actually use it for anything. We're just gonna hit them with lasers, and watch as they fall apart. Ba-bam-bam. -bam. Ship destroyed. Thank you very much. What did you have for us? Better be more than 11 scrap. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of fuel, missiles, and scrap. Very nice. Three fuel, two missiles, 20 scrap. Making money. Making money. Alright. I guess the next step would be to upgrade shields. So we'll save up, get 150, and then we'll buy that. Let's jump onwards. Do we jump to the Zoltan Homeworlds? Absolutely we do! Zoltan Homeworlds give us the ability to possibly find the Zoltan ship, which would be very nice. So let's head over there. Hello, Zoltan. I have to stop saying hello to everyone. I don't think I'm too nice. No, no, this is Corsair and Brigands aboard the blind side. We are nasty, evil pirates. We murder everyone and leave nothing in our wake but the empty ships. The Zoltan patrol their borders, but let us pass from the idea's veteration. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. Da da da. Ooh, lots of nebula here. That could be nice. Let's jump. We'll do one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, twelve. Maybe we'll see. Nebula gives us the ability to jump to jump to many more places in each sector. So that'll be nice. This must be one of the rebels' unmanned scout ships. Looks like there's no way around a fight. It's got a cloak and two shields. That's unfortunate. 
not exactly what I wanted to fight first thing in the battle, but I guess it'll have to do for now. They've got missiles and ions and lasers. This could hurt. This could hurt quite a bit. Ooh, good. They missed anything important. Let's breach out those weapons. No, breach out the shields, I guess. We really need to take those shields down so I can save on the breach missiles. They're going to keep ioning me, though. Ow, that laser hurt. Through the shields. Okay, um, now dual laser that. Ooh, ooh, we're taking a beating here. Ouch. Okay, I should really turn off the anti-bio beam, I suppose. I don't need that energy there. Turn on the heavy laser and make sure we can't destroy it. Now we need to hit their weapons. We sound like we're on fire. So let's open up those doors, drain out the oxygen, because I believe that's where the fire is. We're going to breach out these weapons so they can't keep hitting us with missiles like they... Ah, now they're invisible. Like they are doing. Get that thing back online! There we go. Okay. Okay, here we are. We're doing okay. Close that, because I'm pretty sure the fire is out. And here comes all of their attacks. This is not good. Hit them in the weapons, please. There we go. Got the missiles offline. That's the big one. That's the big one. All right. Can't use the heavy laser yet because their shields are still blocking. Hit them in the shields one more time. Now take out their weapons with the heavy laser. And now they just put the missiles back online. So hit them again with a dual laser. Turn everything offline. That's what I'd like to see. And we'll heavy laser them in the shields. Turn the anti-bio beam back on. Very nice. Problem solved. Ship explodes, leave them behind. One fuel, one drone part, and 31 scrap. We took a beating in there, actually. That was, that was not so nice. Is there anything in here that's still on fire? I don't think so. From the looks of it, no, we're good. I could hear some fire sounds coming, which is why I opened that door, because we took a bit of damage there, and I figured that would be where the fire would be if there was one. Even when you're blind, you can still use sound and what you've seen to your advantage. Alright, now we can't quite afford that yet. That's okay. It's going to take a little while. Back up to full health anyway, that's nice. Almost. Let's jump to this... Ooh, I kind of want to jump to that distress beacon too. Let's see what they want, and then we'll jump into the nebula. We find a lumbering Zoltan freighter with no one at the helm. It's a mystery what happened to the crew, but it'd be a shame to let the opportunity go to waste. We find two fuel, a drone part, and 17 scrap. No free items. They're always good. I can't get into the... Uh, I want to go in here, because I should be able to get all the way around. So we're going to come back to this spot, and then work our way through. Here we go. A Zoltan ship makes contact. The nature of the day is rotational. A fever is emaciated. The reason is... They've caught some nasty deep space dementia. Before you can consider finding help for them, they open fire. Alright, what do they got? They've got a little laser, a little laser drone, and a beam weapon. They can do a little bit of damage to us if those all hit. So that is a concern. They will be able to get through our shields. But... Once we can get through their shields, they shouldn't be too much trouble. Ooh, ooh. Oh, they hit our engines. Of course they did. Okay, get in there and fix that. We need to take down that system. We're going to dual laser them in the... I guess it doesn't matter, really. Hit them with dual laser anyway. Breach missile in there. That should do a little bit of damage. And you get back in the weapon system. That would be nice. Anti-bio beam is still blocked by their shields. Once dual lasers are online, we should be able to hit them anyway, though. So dual laser in there. Good. And now we fry through there. Kill two crew. Fantastic. They have one left. Oh, now we missed with the laser because their shields came back online in time. We're taking a whole bunch of damage here, though. That would be nice to repair that. Work faster there, brigand. Dual lasers are going to wait till he stops moving. Now hit him. And we're going to hit him again with a heavy laser. Very nice. And now hit him again with a bio beam, and he should be dead. Oh, I didn't realize that was firing two all this time. That explains why we were taking so much damage. However, there are now no life signs remaining on the enemy ship, so we strip it of its useful missiles, drone parts, and 35 scrap. Very nice. That explains why we were taking so many hits, though. I didn't realize that laser was firing twice that whole time. Alright, we can now upgrade our shields. However, we cannot yet power them all. That's okay. We'll upgrade them anyway. We'll take one energy off of... No, that's, that's silly. We'll just wait. <laughs> I don't want to take that much power out of important systems. Let's jump into the nebula. That should slow our pursuers. Oh no! Oh no. You spy two pirate ships looking in the nebula here. They remain unaware of your presence. You're able to get your scanners to at least identify their cargo. One is carrying fuel supplies, the other the ammunition. They begin to drift away from each other in the storm. Hmm. Now, this is a bad place to be. These storms are dangerous. We have very little fuel, very little energy here to use. We have one shield, one, one, and three. If this, yes, this could be bad. We could power all... I guess we could fight someone. We have the ability to do a lot of damage if we power up all three of these weapons and then turn the anti-bio beam on once we've got them 
set up. We could just kill them out of there, but, uh, hmm. I don't like those storms. We could get them, I guess. Fuel supply or ammunition? We guess we need ammunition more than we need fuel, so let's try it. We jet towards the pirate with the ammunition and engage. Hopefully we can leave the ship in one piece. Oh boy, that's... Okay, good. <laughs> I thought they had three shields there before the energy took them down. Ooh, that would have been dangerous. Okay, we have one shield. We have very little anything, to be honest. We're going to breach their weapons first so they can't get through our shields. There we go. Now we're going to quickly dual laser, heavy laser their shield room. Nope, that didn't work. I needed all three of those to hit for that to be worth doing, and it did not happen. So now we're going to breach out here. Bam! And that got them. That got their attention. All right, now we dual laser in there. Of course, if they really have that much... Uh, that strong of shields, it's going to take a while to break them down. Oh, good. They're not going to be too happy with that. And now we can dual laser in there. We're going to have a hard time killing them without uh, killing them. <laughs> all right, that's that all destroyed. Let's turn off... Reach bombs and heavy lasers. Turn on the anti-bio beam. Now we'll have to get ready to actually murder these people. Turn off their weapons next. There we go. Down to one weapon, which you cannot easily use. We killed one of the crew already. We're going to anti-bio beam right through there. Hopefully kill off both of the remaining crew. Yes, we did. With the ship in one piece, we were able to salvage most of the ammunition before the ion storm clears, and we have to jump away. What? Presumably Ion Storm clearing would be better for us, but whatever. We get 8 missiles, which is really a lot. Wow. And 39 scrap. Awesome. <laughs> That's really cool. I guess I'm glad we came here. Um, power bar, power bar. And that lets us power up our shields once we actually get our energy back. Let's jump into the next sector of this nebula. More Ion Storms? Nope. We're good. We nervously glance at the windows, but the only thing to greet you is more clouds and silence. That's okay. Power up, power up, power, power, and powered. Fantastic. Now we are a force to be reckoned with, with three shields and a whole arsenal at our disposal. Very nice. The VSS Blindside is now ready to murder more unsuspecting people. Let's jump onwards, taking advantage of this nebula and our ability to see in any way to wreck some people. This nebula turns out to be the hiding place of a terrified rock crew taking refuge from the Zoltan border police. They don't seem prepared to risk your leaving with their coordinates. And open fire. Alright then. That's okay. We'll just have to ruin you. Alright, they've got a bunch of lasers. That that's They have four the ability to fire four, so they can still hurt us. Despite our fairly impressive arsenal. Hit and destroyed. Oh, yeah. Shields are now broken. And now we can anti-bio beam right through there doing a lot of damage. However, they have they are rocks, so it's going to take a good deal of hits to actually hurt them. Turn off their weapons uh, so they cannot hurt us at all. We'll fire one more heavy laser into the shield room. And now we're going to resort to just the bio beam to kill off our remaining rock. Bazam! Is he dead? Yes, he is. There are no more life signs remaining, so we strip it of a missile, a drone part, and 39 scrap. We are definitely just like the Grim Reapers here, coming around murdering everyone we find. This is this feels a lot more vicious than normal gameplay because we're not just killing them, we're murdering them and leaving them to just float through space. Their ship, <laughs> leaving to be found by whoever comes across it. All right, very cool. Hmm, we can't see anything through the through the thick gra okay, grasses, thick gases surrounding our ship without the knowledge, without knowing. Man, I cannot speak for this little dialogue. It happens so many times here. Without knowing what's out there, all we can do is wait for our FTL to charge. Alright. You'd think our telepathic slugs would be able to see the smoke, but nope. Oh, and there goes our power again. We jump into a sector of the nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout station at the beacon moves into attack. We can fight, we can try and run. Honestly, I'm not too worried. I could try and fight them. Hmm. They're probably going to be really powerful, but that storm should make it better. Normally, you always want to use your blue options, but I actually want to fight them. So we're going to do just that. We're going to hit that. We're going to take one out of there, put that into our oxygen so we don't start suffocating. We're also going to turn off one layer of shields so we can activate our breach and dual lasers. And that should give us... Actually, hang on. Turn off the anti-bio beam, turn on the heavy laser, put another one back into engines. There we go. That's probably the best setup for now. Hit their weapons as quickly as possible. Dual laser the shields. Hit them, hit them, hit them. There we go. Okay, no damage will be done now. We're basically safe. 
can't yet hit the heavy laser, we'll hit them with the dual lasers, then break their shields completely with the heavy if we need to, or we'll hit them with the weapons. Very nice. In the weapons it is. Bam! They are now completely neutralized, and we can take them apart at our leisure. Next hit. Oh, nope, that's two misses in a row. Next hit should kill them. Well, a pair of hits from the dual lasers, or one from the heavy. And fire! And we missed. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, they're down. Well, what do we get? The ship explodes, leaving us a missile, a drone part, and 26 scrap. Very nice. Much better than nothing, which is what we would have gotten if we had run away. So let's jump out of here and see what else we can find in this lovely sector. Alright. Very brown looking planet. A rebel ship hails. We did not fight a war to let a single Federation ship shatter our dreams of a better galaxy! He locks weapons and tries to fight us, which is a silly maneuver, but that's okay. Now, ooh, they have a lot of drones. We're going to quickly pause here so that we can reactivate our systems, because everything is currently offline still. So there we go, everything is back, powered up, and ready to go. They have one crew in there, one in there, one in there, and two drones. They basically cannot hurt us unless these are both double-firing laser weapons. So I'm not too worried for the moment, we're going to breach out that. We'll see in a second what they really are. No, they're both single-firing. We are completely safe from any damage in this encounter. Completely safe. They, they do have a lot of shield potential, though, so it's going to take a little bit of fire to actually hurt them. Alright, that'll do it. Now we can dual laser through those shields, and simultaneously heavy laser into those shields to take them down. Now the bio beam will kill off that crew. Should leave them with just a drone in there, and someone in the helm. Which I believe is just about fine by me. Let's hit the helm person. Very good. And now we'll anti-bio beam them again for the kill. That should be a drone. Ah, he is dead. There's one remaining crew member who is right there in the shields. Oh! They are lucky. They got their shields back online just, just as my weapon hit. Now he's suffocating, so he has nowhere to go. He's going to run away to the helm, where we're going to hit him with dual lasers for the kill. Bam, he's dead. Now that the ship has been emptied of hostiles, we search it, finding a prisoner who offers to join our crew. We also get 23 scrap. Prisoner is a rock. Not ideal, but I'm going to stick them in the engines, and they're going to sit there forever. <laughs> so it's okay. Elizabeth, it's a weird name for a giant rock creature, if you ask me. But, especially for a creature whose species name is Rock Man. But that's okay. We're not gender biased here. In those engines, power them up. There we go. Now we are set to really get good at dodging. Ooh, Steli, you are a really good weapons person. Brigand, you're almost at the level up for shields. Corsair is getting close to it for the piloting. All of those would be nice. All of those will be very nice. Now let's jump on ahead here before that storm front catches up to us. The rebel storm approaches. But they're still going to get blindsided. A light asteroid field is entering the atmosphere of a nearby planet. A fireworks show on a galactic scale. There's little for it but to take in the ambience and program the next jump. So let's do just that. Let's jump onwards to here and we'll go one, two, three and probably be done. Maybe we'll go... Eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can reach. We did get a good deal out of the sector already. This must be one of the Rebels' unmanned scout ships. Looks like there's no way around a fight. They've got a laser drone or beam drone? Beam drone. An ion weapon and a big laser. So we're going to have to hit them in the shields as quickly as possible. Take out those shields. And it's going to hit the shields itself. No, good, we got through. I thought that was going to hurt us there, but luckily enough for us, they did not. Our shields have now leveled up, I believe. We're going to have to hit them in the weapons. I don't know why I was waiting there, because that was silly. Take extra hits there for no reason. There we go. Back online. Good, good, good. And now we should be able to kill them with just our laser weapons without having to waste any fuel resources. <laughs> fuel, what am I talking about? Any missiles or other resources. Or taking any damage, for that matter. Let's hit their helm so they can no longer dodge the remaining one hit I'm going to have to do. And down they go. Too bad you don't have crew. I could murder you all, and I'd be happy. But that's okay, the ship exploding still leaves behind one missile, one drone part, and 32 scrap. Powering us up again. Now, I guess I could still try and save up for things like our level 4 shields or more weapons, but I'm going to put a bunch of money into our engines now, because getting that dodge chance would be fantastic. We're pretty well defended now, the only thing that can really give us trouble is missiles. And missiles bypass our shields, so we might as well level up the evade. We arrive at a Zoltan research facility, saying they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if we have time to undergo a few stands, and we say, sure, let's participate in that study. As soon as we dock, pirates burst on board, and a hostile ship appears on your radar. We hear the Zoltan yell in the distance, saying, We're being held hostage! Well, that's not good. We better help you out then, shouldn't we? 
they have piloted in two people, a Zoltan, who's going to die really easily, and a Rockman, who is not. Okay, that's okay, they've got a hull missile from the looks of things, and a very weak laser. The hull missile is the only thing that's going to be causing us any problems. Can we fire this anti-bio beam at our own ship? No, we cannot. That's too bad. <laughs> that would be neat. I guess it's only bombs you can fire at your own ship. Since they don't actually matter where you aim. Alright, Slug, you're going to get in there and fight him off. We're going to send the Rockman over there, too. It's going to take him all day to get there. But when they do, that's okay. You'll have some backup, and you'll have to probably run away and get health. But that's how it goes. So we're going to breach out their... Shields, I guess. Okay, you're going to you're gonna be in a lot of trouble in a second. Um, this is not good. They don't have a teleport of those. So these guys... Ah, we missed with a missile. That's too bad. Hit out the shields with dual lasers. Hit them with a big... There we go. That's good. Slug, you're going to need to run away in a second, but that's okay. Run to the med bay. They can't really do a lot of damage. We're going to anti-bio beam the people who are remaining on board the ship. We're going to breach missile their weapons. Actually, it's a waste. We're going to get hit by a big rocket, though, if I don't do that. Ooh, it's hard to say what to do. Well, no, let's not bother. Hit those people. Now we have our dual lasers. Quickly hit those weapons. For all they're worth, heavy laser in the weapons. Take them down. We need to not get hit by that. Good. Slug, get back in there to support this fight, because our Rockman is taking a lot of damage. And now that Zoltan's dead, you have the two-on-one advantage. Very good. We're going to dual laser them? Yes. We have to do one damage to this remaining character to kill them. This can't possibly do three to break the ship, and if we doesn't kill them, we can anti-bio beam them for the kill. But it did kill them, so we're all good. Now all we have to do is punch this guy to death, which is a very slow process, apparently. Are we actually going to be able to kill them before he kills us? Yeah, I think so. Not a problem. Well done, folks! We disable the ship and contact the research station, getting a missile, a drone part, and 33 scrap in the process. As we continue, they say, Thank you for rescuing us! They held us hostage to ambush unsuspecting passers-by! Please take this! Giving us a fuel, a drone part, 14 scrap, and a system repair drone. Not bad. However, we've been going on for quite a long time here, and we may have to leave the rest of our adventure for next time. We'll heal up here, and I will quickly check if we have enough time to move on. As I suspected, we are fairly out of time at this point. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, piloting the VSS Broadside. Oh, there goes the ship. <laughs> I guess they were on fire. Piloting the VSS Broadside through the depths of space, leaving nothing but wreckages behind. Ha 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 ha. Alright, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.